Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the ties in column. That why we need to provide the lateral ties in the reinforced concrete column. So there are some of the reasons that we need to provide the lateral ties in the reinforced concrete column. Some of the main important reasons are, the first reason is that it prevent the lateral buckling of the concrete column. It prevent the lateral buckling of reinforced concrete column. So it means that it doesn't allow the column to buckle. The ties are the same as the stirrups in the beams. The stirrups in the beam are mainly used to resist the shear stresses while in columns they also have resist the shear stresses but they also have other purposes where, where the first reason is to prevent the lateral buckling in the reinforced concrete column. Let's suppose that this is any column and this column has been loaded with any distributed load or concentrated load so upon this loading this column will try to buckle in the lateral direction. So it will buckle in this way depending on the support condition. So it will buckle in the lateral direction and it will move outside. So now to resist this buckling, to avoid this buckling, what we do, we provide the lateral ties in the reinforced concrete column. So now if this is the same col column, if this is the same column and the same load is applied on this column, but now we use the lateral ties in this column. Let's suppose these are the transverse reinforcement or the ties. The ties are also called the transverse reinforcement. So now this reinforcement will not allow the column to buckle in the lateral direction. So this helps to prevent the lateral buckling. This is the first reason to prove that why we need to provide the lateral ties in the column. The second reason that why we provide the lateral ties in the column is that it increases the stiffness of the column, increases the stiffness of the reinforced concrete column, stiffness of the RC column. So if I have any column, let's suppose this is again any column and this column is being loaded. So if this column has the capacity of, let's suppose this is stiffness K represented by K and stiffness is equal to the force per unit deformation. Let's suppose if my load acting on this column is 2, two kilonewton, it can take 2 kilonewton for 1 unit deformation. For 1 unit deformation, it takes 2 kilonewton load without using the ties. But if I use the lateral ties in my column, if these are the ties, so now this column will take more load. So we can say that we can increase, we increase the stiffness of the column by taking more load with a smaller deformation. So now this column will take, let's suppose 5 kN per unit deformation. For 1 unit deformation, we have 5 kN. Before it was 2 kN. So with the help of the lateral ties, we increase the stiffness of the reinforced concrete column because it helps to confine the main bars and also it doesn't allow the concrete to fail early on. That's why it increases the stiffness of the reinforced concrete column. The third reason for the ties in the column is that it confine the confinement of the main bars, confinement of the main bars. So if this is any column, let's suppose, and this is the, in the load acting on the column. So if these are the, let's suppose this, these are the main bars, are the longitudinal bars in the column, which takes the vertical load. So if we are using no lateral ties in the column. So these bars, these longitudinal bars will slightly move upon loading. So these bars will slightly move from its original position, like in this way. It will also buckle, like as I early discussed, but it will slightly move from its original position. 
what happens if I use the little ties if there's the same column with the same loading and these are the main bars and the columns are the longitudinal bars which take the main load so upon using the, steady, the ties little ties are the transverse reinforcement this will help to confine the main bars so now the main bars will not be moving from its original position so it helps in the confinement of the main bars are the longitudinal bars so these are the main bars while the these bars which hold the main bars in place we call is the ties so this is the third reason that why we need to provide the little ties in the column the fourth reason for the little ties in the column is that it resists the shear forces resist the shear forces now let's consider this is in a frame structure it is a combination of beam and column this horizontal member is a beam and these two verticals are the columns which are the compressive members so and let's suppose these two vertical columns are exposed to the wind load this in wind load acting on the this column so if I take this column here, let's suppose this is it, this is the same column, this column. So upon loading, upon this wind load, if this is the wind load, this column will show some shear forces. This column will take some shear forces because of the wind load. So if I draw the shear force diagram for this column, so it will look like this. So what we have, we have shear stresses here at this portion of the column. So now in order to take these shear forces, we have to provide the little ties in the column. So what we do for this column, we place the little ties in this column in order to take these shear forces. And these shear forces is because of the external load. External load may be the wind load or the earthquake load. So in order to take the shear forces, we must have to provide the little reinforcement or the uh, little ties. So hope you guys understand that why we need to provide the ties in the column. And these were the four main reasons for the ties in the column. For daily civil engineering videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.